It was uh, in 2015 that Indian Prime Minister Modi and his uh, then Mauritian counterpart, Anirudh Jagannath, reached an agreement to allow India to develop infrastructure there. This is at Agelega. Agelega is a small, sparsely populated Mauritian archipelago comprising of just two islands. And it has about just 300 residents living on those two islands. So under the deal that was signed way back in 2015, India was to build two jetties and, and, a, and an airstrip, airstrip with facilities for landing and, and takeoff. But this port is important because it's intended to be a dual use project. It'll come with uh, some important restrictions um, on Indian use of that uh, port. Uh, the restrictions include the need for India to seek prior notification. But in terms of its utility, this port at Agelega will serve as a logistics and basing hub for the Indian Navy. India will be able to pre-position the necessary logistics support required to regularize and sustain operations in southwestern Indian Ocean. So then, uh, Brahma, why does India w choose this particular positioning? Why is this a critical place for India? Well, there are two reasons. Uh, the obvious reason is that China is seeking to muscle its way into the Indian Ocean. It has already stepped up military pressure on India in the Himalayan borderlands, and it's now seeking to build pressure on the southern flank by, by encroaching on India's maritime backyard. So India is seeking to enlarge its footprint in the Indian Ocean region, and this particular port in Mauritius is part of India's larger efforts to expand its strategic footprint. India is also building uh, ports elsewhere, in Saban in Indonesia, at Chabahar in Iran, and at Doom in Oman. So this Mauritius project is important, but part of a larger Indian effort to increase its foothold. Is it going to be any match, Brahma, though, for China, which, of course, have, have sort, of, in, sort of endless resources and are already well ahead of the game in terms of building up these kind of outposts? The fact is that China is a outside power in the Indian Ocean. It suffers from several disadvantages. It doesn't have a base in the Indian Ocean region. By contrast, India is well positioned geographically in the Indian Ocean region. So India is seeking to utilize its natural geographic advantage to ensure that its maritime backyard is safe. Also, the larger power balance in the Indo-Pacific region is likely to, to be determined in the Indian Ocean region. Therefore, it's very critical both for Indian security and Australian security that the democratic powers are able to ensure that China does not become dominant in the Indian Ocean region. The Quad Bloc, of course, is looking to strengthen its presence. What are we likely to see in com coming months in terms of joint operations? The good news is that uh, President uh, Biden of the US is following in the footsteps of his predecessor, who revived the Quad and gave meaning to it strategically. Biden held the first Quad meeting. It was held virtually in March. But this fall, in another, I think, in, in two months, in, in October, I think, in early October, the Quad's uh, first in-person summit is going to be held in New York on the sidelines of the UN General Assembly meeting. Looking at it more broadly, the Quad needs to gain strategic heft so as to bring an expansionist China under pressure. If um, Quad members cooperate in military, economic, and technological realms, and they coordinate their responses, they can put discrete checks on the unbridled exercise of Chinese power. Mm. 
And through such cooperation, India, like Australia, will be able to punch above its economic and military weight. Really important, uh, as you say, in this balancing game that we are playing these days. Good to talk, Rama. Thank you so much. Thank you.